Hello, this is Cardcast, and uh, today we're going to have the second battle report for the channel. Uh, we're doing pitch battle, capture and control, uh, Space Wars versus Dark Eldar, uh, 1850 points. So I'm playing with my friend Sean, uh, who's over there, right there, and uh, he'll be going over his list and letting you guys know what he has in his 1850 list. Sean? Today I got uh, Thunderwolf Lord with Frostblade, Storm Shield, and Runic Armor. And uh, two Fenrich and Wolves with a squad of Thunder Wolves with three Storm Shields, Power Fist, Melt of Bombs. Uh, I got a squad of eight Great Hunters with a Melt of Gun, Mark of the Wolven, Wolf Totem uh, with a Wolf Guard with a Combi Melt and Power Fist. Then I got five Great Hunters with a Melt of Gun with a Wolf Guard with a uh, Combi Melt and Power Fist. Five Great Hunters with a Flamer joined by a Rune Priest with uh, Tempest Wrath and uh, Jaws of the World Wolf. Then I got nine Great Hunters. With a Melted Gun, Mark of the Wolven, Wolf Totem, Power Weapon, joined by a Wolf Guard with a Power Fist and Combi Melta. Six Long Fangs with a Heavy Bolter, two Rocket Launchers, two Laze Cannons, and then another six Long Fangs with five Rocket Launchers. Okay, and we'll go over to my Dark Eldar over here. Uh, you guys saw this in the first battle report. It's 1850 points, the exact same. So we have an Archon and four Incubi in a Venom with dual cannons. Uh, we have three Blasterborn in a Venom with two dual cannons. Then we have two eight-man witch squads in ra oh, sorry in raiders with flicker fields, and then we have two homunculi homunculi with um, with liquefy guns, and then we have uh, two ravagers, night shields, flicker fields, razor wing with a flicker field, six reaver jet bikes with double blaster. Um, so as to the table, so you guys can see it, good amount of terrain. Uh, one objective is down here for capture and control, and my objective is all the way over here. So, um, we'll see you guys probably at the end of turn one. Bye. Okay, bottom of turn two, actually. Uh, he deployed everything where you'd seen it before. I decided to reserve my entire army. Like a coward. That's right, like a coward, like the Dark Elder that I am. And so, he took advantage of my cowardice and moved up. Uh, the Rune Priest is in that Rhino now, Thunderwolves are moving up. Uh, my first roll of reserves, I got one Ravager in, I shot at that, did nothing. And then the Blaster Born in that one, and five Warriors with a Blaster in that one. And a Razor Wing, who unloaded on the first unit of Long Fangs, left two alive. This Venom then shot at them, and ended up wiping out the squad. And then this Venom shot at... The long fangs in the building over there and killed two, including the pack leader, which means now they can only kill one tank per turn. And I'll be back in turn three. Thanks. So here we are, end of turn three. Um, the space holes moved up a little bit, disembarked here, shot at the ravager but missed. And then um, the thunder wolves moved up as well, shooting on the venoms over here, immobilized one and stunned the other. Then all the Dark Eldar reserves showed up. The Incubi and Archon charged into this unit of Grey Hunters, who killed them all, uh, taking five casualties. Uh, the two Witch units, as well as almost all the shooting in the army, shot the Thunderwolves and then assaulted them. And now the Lord is left with one wound. Uh, Rex came on over there, Razor Wing, Jet Bikes flew over there, and yeah, so turn four. Okay, so turn four, um, you might want to take your casualties off then. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so shuffled around, that rhino got immobilized, they blew up uh, the venom. Uh, this combat's been continuing at the end of my turn. The witch squad decided to fall back here and... Uh, it ended up being that they are tied up by the other squad of witches. Thankfully, they didn't die. They got charged. They got out of the rhino, ran all the way over, and then fluffed horribly. Oh, I rolled really well for saves. Uh, one of the Razorbacks is dead. There's only two long fangs left. That last cannon Razorback is stunned. The jet bikes and the Razor Wing are on that side. I have some racks moving up there. The Trueborn uh, moving up as well. This squad is ready to get in the Raider. And so we're moving to turn five, and we'll be back. 
Okay, so we're back for turn five. Um, this Ravager came over here to contest. Um, the two Hemunculi got out and flamed different things and did almost nothing. The Thunderlord is finally dead from combined shooting. And these guys ran away. The Venom's moving up. Uh, killed the Long Fangs. Right now there's only the one Razorback with dudes inside over there. The jet bikes are back there. Uh, this squad of witches is falling back, that witch is falling back, and it's turn five, so I'm going to, oh, Sean's going to roll to see if the game goes on, and it does. it does, okay, so we'll be back with, uh, turn six. Okay, bottom of turn six, we had those great hunters over there die, um, these witches were able to rally because he had consolidated that way, and charged into there, there's only a wolven left at the bottom there. Uh, that guy's still the ground because the blaster born to keep on shooting him. Uh, some bikes are all combat over there with two guys. Is it, is it left? Two guys, and I have my racks over there. Two are boosted, and that's mobilized. And we're going to roll to see if it goes to turn seven. And it does. <laughs> but he's going to tap out. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this is Scary, and uh, next time. I'll be bringing you more bat reps. Stay tuned. Please subscribe uh, on the top or like the videos on the bottom of the screen. And uh, yeah, 1850 Dark Eldar Victory. Thanks. Bye.